crafty friends. My dog's making noises. Hey crafty friends, this is Jenny from crafttestimies.com and today I'm going to show you how to DIY your own quilling tool. Let's make one. First, let's go over some basic supplies. Now, if, usually if you're doing quilling, you need to have a quilling tool. And you can see by the ones in my hand that I've got, um, they can have a wood handle or a plastic handle, but the big thing is that they have a slit in them. So the, the little metal nib has a slit, kind of like an eye of a needle that's open on the top, so that you can uh, slide the paper in and twirl it around. Now, you can do this as well with an awl or with a toothpick. I just have a harder time with this, so I like to use a quilling tool. But what do you do if you don't have a quilling tool? Well, you can always use something like a plastic Q-tip or one of those hollow coffee stirrers. And to make it, you're just gonna snip off the cotton end and then very carefully make a slit in the plastic handle. Now, you want, the only thing is you wanna make sure that you've made the slit long enough that the paper actually fits in. That was not quite long enough. So now I'll do it again. Doop. And now we test it. I slid the paper in. I can give it a little twirl. Keep it on hand. There we go. And look, it's working. See, you don't need no fancy tools. Use your fingers on what you have. Now, what happens if you don't have one of those nifty circle sizers? Well, I looked around and I found that my son had one of these um, shape templates in his school uh, supplies, so you could certainly use this, or you can use a bottle cap. So then I caught myself feeling clever and I thought, what if I made a handle for my homemade quilling tool? It would make it a little bit easier to hold on to and maybe a little more durable. So I decided to just cut the end off of the swab and then grabbed an old wine cork and made the hole a little bit bigger. I used an awl for that, but you could probably even use like a knitting needle. And then once you've made the hole big enough for the cotton swab stem to fit in, you just use a little bit of white glue. And here I'm using some Eileen's tacky glue because it dries really fast and has a nice quick grab to it. But once this dries, now you've got a tool that is really functional and was almost free to make. Yay! Works like a charm. And now, if you want to learn how to make quick quilled hearts, just click the little box in the middle of this picture and you'll get to see how you can put your new tool in action. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful and or informative. And if you do, please give it a thumbs up because that really does help out our channel. Also, we would love it if you took a minute and subscribed to our channel so that way you won't miss a single awesome tutorial or piece of information. And lastly, leave us a comment. We'd love to hear how this worked for you. Thank you so much for watching and have a crafty day.